we're gonna make the Chocolatini Albino. This is more dessert-like, a little bit less in uh, booze quantity. You're pouring more vodka into the dark Chocolatini than you are the white Chocolatini. Using our plastic cups once again, we have to pretend we're at a picnic here. I'm gonna take your vodka. You're gonna go about two and a half count on this one. Now for the white Godiva, You can see there's quite a bit more. This is going to be a creamy martini. This is going to be much more dessert-like. A favorite with the ladies. Now we're going to rim our glass again. Last time I made the other chocolatini, I rimmed it first and then I made the drink. It's actually, from a, a cost-effective point of view, it's actually better to make the drink first and then rim it second because this allows your drink time to actually melt uh, the ice down and you're going to get uh, more drink for your, your work and your effort put into the uh, actual glass. Okay, we're going to give it a quick little shake here. Contrary to the classic martini we did in the last episode, these you don't want to shake too much. You want this to come out being much more smooth. You don't want it to have that that frosty, icy layer on top. Now we strain it out. There's our chocolatini albino. Won't throw a Hershey kiss in there because you won't be able to see it. But what I will do, I'll take some of my shaved chocolate, sprinkle it right on top, just for a little extra added touch. And there you have it. Chocolatini dark, chocolatini albino. Let's move on to the Cosmopolitan. <laughs>